Hey everybody, this is Steve Jackson with Imprintables Warehouse and during a webinar the other day on Corel Draw, we had a question come up on the difference between weld and combine. So I want to do a quick little video to kind of showcase what the difference was between those two. So here we are in Corel. I'm just going to make a simple circle and I'll hold down control and shift to keep it nice and round. I'll make a copy of it so as I'm dragging it to the side I hold shift to keep it in line and right click to make another one a copy of it and then I'm gonna take a, a rectangle right here and go from the quadrant up there to the quadrant down here so we've got them all kind of combined right there or overlaying each other we haven't welded or combined anything yet so first after that I'm gonna make a copy of this one so you can see the difference between the two again I right clicked as I was dragging it down and we'll do that so the one on top here, we're going to select all of these, and then we've got our weld and trim and everything here. I'm going to hit combine. Not much changes there. You can see that it's, it's a curve on layer one down here, so it sees it all as combined as one. And over in our object manager box, you can see it's a single curve, but you can still see the definition of the, each portion in there. And if I start dragging that around, they're all together. So we'll hit control Z a couple times. But if I right click on it, come on mouse right click and break curve apart now it's into individual sections again so I can do that after a bunch of different editing the one down here and I, I hit control Z a couple times to take it back to a curve the one down here I'm gonna go ahead and hit weld and you'll see that everything on the inside is gone and it's a curve also just like the one up above it you can see over here but the the whole object now there's no breaking it apart if I right click there's there's nothing to break apart because it's welded into one object the other difference on this is you know, so that's a pretty good visual representation if I take the top one and select everything there it's one curve right and I come over and I'll fill it I'll just hit the fill and you can see that it did a fill but because these are different curves you've got the overlapping there and it, it gives it a different effect on that whereas if I go to this one down here and hit fill it fills the entire object so I hope this kind of illustrates it a little bit um, we'll even break this curve apart and you can see that now each individual piece is its own whereas this one there's nothing to break apart so combine actually combines them into one but maintains the original aspect so it can be broken apart later on whereas weld welds it into one piece and it can't be reverted back to the old um, constituents of that piece unless you were to hit control Z and go back so hopefully this clears it up for everybody out there and uh, we'll see you on the next one thanks for stopping by